Okay, so we're going to talk about properties and components of an object. So I've made a very simple cube object right here. that I can just click on and you can see the cube right here in the game world. And when I click on that cube, over here in the inspector window I can see a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to collapse these for a sec so you can see there are four components attached to this cube. Transform component, cube component, sorry, uh, mesh filter component, box collider component, and mesh renderer component. So each of these is a component, and each of those components has properties. So for the box collider component, there's an is trigger property, there's a material property, there are center and size properties. And usually these properties are going to be accessible both by you while you're in Unity by just going and changing them and using a script. So you can actually use a script to go and change these during the game. So there'll be more on that in a future quest about scriptable properties. All we were, are really concerned about right now is learning which components are available and which properties are available within those components. So I can start with any simple object like this one and it'll have certain components attached to it. Every object has a transform component that manages the object's position and rotation. Uh, most objects, at least the simple ones, come with some kind of collider attached so uh, that makes the object collide with other objects but I can also add other components using the component menu right up here at the top so I can go to component add and I can choose one or I can choose one right out of the menus here so for example I might uh, go and add a physics component like a rigid body which would make uh, my object respond to physics that's what rigid body does so if I go and add rigid body now when I play the game, let me just move the camera to the right place here. There we go. When I play the game, that cube will fall down and bounce because it responds to physics, it responds to gravity and things like that. That's what the rigid body component does. So I can adjust the properties of the rigid body component by looking over here in the inspector. So your job is to check out some of the components that are available for dealing with character control. So you're going to use the character controller component, which is under physics, that uh, governs how the character interacts with the world. And then under scripts, oh, I don't have it yet, under scripts you're going to have components for character controller and third person controller, or sorry, third person controller and third person camera, which govern uh, use of a third person control object. So actually I'll add those right now. So if you haven't done this yet, you want to import the character controller package. And then when the character controller package finishes importing, which this is going to do right now, uh, you will find those new scripts available under your scripts um, menu. Uh, important thing to mention, we are learning how to do scripting because we are going to use scripts in Unity. And we usually use scripts by making our own custom components out of them. So in the future, we'll be creating custom components, not just the ones that are built in, but your own components that are made using scripts. So now that I have my character controller in here, I can go look under scripts, and here's third-person camera and third-person controller. So as part of your quest, you're going to try and figure out what those do. All right.